Hello everyone, this is Chris Dumont, Exiton Interactive, and in this video we are going to get TypeScript up and running. In addition to having the uh, TypeScript running, we're also going to go ahead and get uh, linting happening for our TypeScript files using uh, TSLint. So let's go ahead and get started here. So as we uh, mentioned here, our goal is to get TypeScript working within our project. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to install a loader that can uh, handle converting TypeScript to JavaScript for Webpack. So let's take a look. What we're going to use is the npm say install the TS loader and version 4.2.0 at the time of the video. Go back to our uh, webpack config file. So what we're going to do here is, uh, I guess we can change the source here. Go to the source, and we're going to modify index.js. I'm going to rename that index.ts. Inside there, we're also going to just say hello world from TypeScript, so that we know that we've changed everything. All right. So now our entry point should be pointing at a uh, .ts file, not .js. And we need a new rule to handle it. So we'll put in our test. And that's going to be .ts, the end of the file. We'll do our whole exclude node modules. And now use array. Inside of here, just TS loader. So we save that. And uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's go into the terminal, npm run build. All right, so we get an error here. And this one is just a tiny bit cryptic. The files list in config file is empty. Well, and I guess by definition it's empty since we don't actually have a tsconfig.json file. Let's fix that. So we'll go to the root of our project. We'll add a file and tsconfig.json. And I think it'll help us out. So compiler options. We're going to do basically the most minimal thing we can do. Target and in our case we'll target ES5. All right, so all right, just checking them on notes there. I thought I was lost there. Let's clear this npm run build. Oh, misspelled. And why did that work? It's because I have. Already linked TypeScript, so let's do this. So I was expecting to have an error there. So let's uh, make that error happen now. So this is the error I was expecting to see. Could not load TypeScript, try installing. So you can either install TypeScript within the project, so you can have a, you know, a set version. Uh, on the other hand, I have TypeScript installed globally, and I just use that. You know, you can run into problems when they update a version like they did on me, uh, and I just blindly updated last night. So, um, well, we have it, like I said, is uh, linked globally, so let's go ahead and just link it. So npm link TypeScript. npm run build. Everything is green, return, come back. So now we have our console message, hello world from TypeScript. So if our only goal was to get TypeScript up and running, we have done the minimal required to do it. But I do also like to have something, I mean, probably if you do a lot of work in JavaScript, then you probably have a linter installed for it. So that's I think, a good idea to install a linter for TypeScript. 
And of course I use TSLint for that. It's also, let's see, npm list. I also have it um, TSLint installed globally. Right now, I guess at version 5.10.0. So if it's installed globally now, all we need to do is to create a configuration file for it. So let's go to the root of our project, tslint.json. Again, we'll do for the second, for, for a moment, just the bare minimum as required to get something happening here. And so we'll just say that our uh, configuration file is just going to extend the latest configuration. So now we should be able to see that that's working by going into our source index.ts file. So we get the error here. Calls to console.log are not allowed. There's a flag in there for no console if you wish to allow them. I think it's very convenient here so I don't lose track of, you know, when I'm just throwing in a console log to see something, I can obviously go back very quickly to find out where it was. So we're going to leave that alone. And I did mention though that these were the bare minimum to give us an idea of what I usually end up, you know, some of the options I end up with and so that I can easily go back and look this up again at some point. What we have, let's go to the, I'm in the uh, tsconfig.json file and what I want to do is I have to modify my notes to be correct but Oops, no I don't. I have the compiler options there. So typically I have the compile on save, obviously set the false because we'll have, we'll do a watch for Webpack and then it'll, it'll take care of rebundling everything. So we have some compiler options. So a lot of times doing TypeScript or TypeScript, Angular uh, development. So we need uh, metadata to be spit out in our bundles, so lib, modules, no implicit any. No, you can, uh, the article for this video has a link to the um, documentation for all the options for the uh, compiler options. So we'll save that. Go into the tslint.json. Go ahead and copy that. Move it over here. So typically, of course, still extends from latest, but I have some rules here. Max line length some ordering of everything. So it's sort of like the ordering I would have in a C-sharp file. Uh, some other things, my variable name. So uh, private fields, I want to have the leading underscore. So we have the allow leading underscore. Same as with the tsconfig, there's a link to the rules for tslint in the article as well. Let's go ahead and save that. And uh, that takes care of it for this video. So we have uh, TypeScript up and running and it's being linted. And I have not decided what we're going to do in the next video, so I guess we'll just have to, to wait and see. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button, as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you, and I will talk to you in the next video.